Hello guys, I'm out again. Yeah, it was raining the past days, so I couldn't go out. And uh, yeah, the field I normally detect is too muddy, so I had to find a new spot. And uh, that's a totally new permission here. It's a different farmer, but it is uh, within um, my permitted area of the archaeological department. I don't know what to expect here. Uh, didn't even make some research about this uh, area here. But uh, yeah, let's see how we get on here. Um, yeah, I'll be back when I got my first find. Uh, here we have part of a buckle. Yeah, it's very silent here. Yeah, you you hardly get uh, like a signal, a fresh signal, you know. So um, yeah, but maybe this is a good sign here. <laughs> okay, on to the next. Can you see here the edge? Uh, but uh, I can imagine that it's a button as well. But we will see. Oh, maybe a coin from the early 1900s too. Um, yeah, I, I think it's uh, ein, yeah, it's ein Pfennig, one Pfennig. Uh, beautiful patina. Here you are, but it's quite grotty on this side here. Yeah, but the first coin give me some hope. <laughs> Can you see this here? You see as much as I see and uh, it looks very hammered and very silverish, but I might be wrong. Let's check it together. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Yeah, it's some kind of modern tag, aluminium tag, I don't know. Oh my gosh. I thought it's a big hammered silver coin. Ah, oh, yeah, good. On to the next. Look at this hole. It's uh, 30, 35 centimeters. And it's not very nice to, to find uh, aluminium foil in a depth like that because uh, uh, yeah, it uh, ruins your uh, confidence, you know, on a field because usually you would, th you would think uh, aluminium foil is a bit uh, shallower, you know, but uh, so that means hard work today, I think. <laughs> Yeah, the depth I I get today is unreal. It's another 30 centimeter hole, and uh, look what was in there. It's a totally destroyed button. Yeah. As you can see, a button. Let's have a live dig here. Yeah, I'm not very confident about it because uh, I uh, haven't found decent stuff here. But uh, I thought for a change I give you a live dig. So it, it's in this lump here lump of earth. So 
So it should be in here. Let's find out together what it is. Yeah, it has to be this piece of scrap here. Yeah. Yeah, guys, I'm going home. The sun is setting and uh, yeah, was not very successful today. Only found, found one coin and a fragment of a buckle. So the footage isn't enough for one video, so I will uh, yeah, split the video. Um, yeah, not sure yet uh, whether the uh, second part of the video will take place on my plowed field or here. You will see it right after this clip. So, uh, see you in part two of the video. Bye bye. Hello guys, this is part two of my video. Uh, and uh, as you can see, I'm back on my field here. It's very muddy. Uh, my boots are heavy as hell, you know. <laughs> but uh, I had to come back here because uh, yesterday was a bit weak uh, talking um, about the um, amount of fines, you know. So yeah, I will give uh, this field a try. So yeah, let's see how we, how we get on here. Just follow me. Oh uh, yeah, first decent find. A very thin coin. I think this is a, a copper hammered coin. Yeah, beautiful. See, down there, quite deep. Could that be an old dice? That would, yeah, yes it is. I just, in this moment, I, I, I see the uh, dots, you know? Can you see it? Wow, this is a premiere for me. I never found an, an old dice, you know? And uh, uh, I'm on a Roman field here, so who knows? Maybe this is a Roman dice. Oh, that would be great. What a lovely find, really. Look how uh, how uh, yeah it's not very symmetric as you can see <laughs> but uh, it's a very primitive uh, dice oh this has to be old perfect find Another nice shock moment here again. <laughs> yeah, look at this. It's one of these coins from the 20s. Yeah, it's a 10 Reichsfennig from uh, 1929. Beautiful coins, really, and I think it's an alloy of uh, uh, aluminium and bronze or something like that, something strange. Um, I might be wrong right now, but uh, look at this beautiful coin. I will give you uh, the information about the alloy uh, with a pick, okay? So here you have a nice coin. Look at this fantastic uh, surface find here. This is definitely from the Stone Age. You can see how the edges are worked, you know, and uh, 
this stone uh, doesn't belong to this region here. It's from the North Sea, um, uh, or better to say, uh, the only source uh, where you can find these stones here in Germany is on uh, North Sea, you know. But uh, even in the Stone Age, people uh, were trading, you know. You know? And I'm uh, detecting here uh, next to a very old uh, trading road. And uh, yeah, it's a very nice and interesting find. And if you think that this is, yeah, like... 10,000 years old <laughs> it's amazing you know and I'm so sure that it is Stone Age because uh, the farmer he found uh, um, like um, Stone Age axes and uh, uh, other um, relics from that time here and uh, so there has been even Stone Age activity on this field here so this is definitely Stone Age and <laughs> I'm buzzing because this is the oldest find I ever found, you know, perfect. Oh, it's so good to be back on my field here. <laughs> Look at this, it's, um, it's a thin uh, silver coin here. And uh, I guess, um, or I can imagine that it is Ein Kreuzer, um, but we will see. But uh, definitely silver, I would say. Wonderful. Have a strange find here. The first thing you would uh, think, uh, lead bullet. But uh, then, turn it around like this, you see that it got an iron core. Or, um, yeah, maybe it was something attached here. So, um, uh, hard to tell what it is. I mean, these lines... Uh, you know them from bullets, but uh, I never had one with a with an iron core, so it's a quite unique find. <laughs> Very nice signal here, and look, a surface find. Yeah, let's see what it is. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a button. Oh, a shame. <laughs> yeah, not even a nice one. Yeah, here you have my tiny roundup for today. These two finds I had yesterday. Uh, it's uh, one Fennig from the late 1800s or early 1900s. And this is... Uh, a fragment of a buckle. Uh, today I had uh, this beautiful dice here. It's very old. You can tell by the look of it and um, yeah maybe Roman. I will find out. Here we have a copper hammered coin, a silver coin, um, maybe Ein Kreuzer, uh, not sure yet. And this is a coin from the 20s. It's uh, 1929 and this is a highlight for me uh, this is uh, from uh, the stone age and uh, as you can see it is worked here um, definitely and this is uh, a very nice find and i'm very happy about it so these are the good items for today i also uh, had some nice pottery shard finds today um, as i said before i'm not an expert but uh, these uh, look quite in interesting to me and uh, as you can see we have edge pieces as well yeah this is maybe from a grip you know yeah 
these are the shards. So here you can see the trash of both days. Uh, these uh, aluminium foil pieces here are uh, mainly from yesterday, from the pasture land, you know. They were quite deep, which was very annoying. And uh, also here, this uh, even thicker aluminium parts, I think <laughs> this was a calculator. Yeah, here we have a big piece of lead. Yeah, okay, that's the trash. Yeah, that's it for today. Um, yeah, it was good to be back on my uh, field here because um, yesterday was a bit uh, exhausting, you know, and found a lot of aluminium foil as you saw, and uh, yeah not many finds you know so uh, i'm very happy about the dice i'm buzzing to find out whether it's roman or not and uh, i'm also buzzing to see the um, silver coin when i cleaned it up so um, nice variety again today and uh, yeah i'm very excited to come back as always <laughs> so i hope you like this video and i hope you stay tuned yeah, see you on my next hunt, hopefully. Until then, all the best to you, goodbye and auf Wiedersehen.